Alright, new video. How to set the timing. That's what you gotta do after you do this whole deal. So it's pretty simple. You're gonna need a paper clip, your T40, which is these little star deals, and a timing light. You can get these fairly inexpensively. Again, you just saved so much money working on your car yourself, and this will come in handy again and again, like every time you smog and stuff. So what you're gonna do is, you, there's this little plug right here on the, on the shock tower. It's covered with this little um, cover. You're gonna pull that cover off, and you've got to identify which is the top of the plug. Now if you look closely at this plug, there's no metal in this very top left one, so that's going to be the top of the plug, okay? So with that being the top, what you're going to do is take a paper clip, you're going to jam it between these, the bottom left and the center on the bottom, okay? What you're going to do is you're just going to jumper those two together with the paper clip. You have to kind of jam it in there uh, the first time, it gets a little easier after that, okay? Then you're going to start your car up, okay? And you're going to hook up your timing light. Your timing light has two alligator clips, it's these little guys. Now, I'm also charging the battery, so ignore that, but you're gonna hook them up to the red and the black terminals on your battery while the car's running. Then you're gonna take this little guy, it's like a giant chip clip looking thing. You're gonna clip it around the number one cylinder spark plug lead. And what it's gonna do is when the distributor fires the electricity to fire the spark, it's going to send a pulse of electricity uh, it's gonna basically turn the switch on and send the pulse of electricity that's coming down the alligator leads and cause this light to flash. It's basically a strobe light. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be pointing your strobe light at, if you look down here, see those numbers? On the right it says zero, in the middle it says 10, and then 20. What you're gonna do is you're gonna shine it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna flash, and every couple seconds you're gonna see, because the flash illuminates for just a second, this little white notch, do you see that white notch? Show up. I wish I'd painted that notch a little brighter while I had the rocket off, but I didn't do that, that's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna see it blinking. Now, when I started it, the way it was, was it was all the way up at like, almost at the 20, like real high, like real advanced. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the timing by adjusting the distributor, okay? So what you do is you loosen this these T40s. There's one here and there's one here, and let me come around so you can see it better. Um, it's basically, this is a big like slot, see that? So when you loosen it, you're able to turn the distributor and what you're gonna do is every time you turn it, it's gonna move that notch on that little bar and you're aiming to get that notch to stop on the eight, which is just one notch to the right of the center. So the center says 10, it's gonna be one notch to the right. Now, it, it, if it was, it, you can't see it now because it only worked when the lights are flashing and that doesn't pick up on video really well. So. You're just gonna adjust it back and forth until it's consistently landing on the eight, and then you're gonna tighten these down. And so I did that, the timing is now set. We're gonna get good gas mileage, awesome emissions, and uh, basically be done with our project. Except for me, because I have to go fix the valve cover, because uh, I forgot the gasket. Yeah, so that's how you set the timing on a Geo Metro with a G10 three-cylinder motor.